and I'm Francesca Ragno. And I'm Jeffrey Winterstein. For the Qatar International Revenors Festival. Today, Jeff. Today we're going to do all the age shorts. We're going to finish up with the age mares and the age steins. I can't wait. There's some absolutely fantastic names on the program. Qatar's equine history date back centuries, and the Arabian horse has always played a crucial part of the nation's founding. Here at Kiev, there's two exhibits that really showcase this national heritage. An exhibit from the Sheikh Faisal bin Qasim Al Thani Museum showcases some Arabic saddles, tack, and firearms. Also included is the first registered horse in the Qatari Arabian Stud Book. Another exhibit from Qatar's National Library displays a number of rare books, documents, and manuscripts. A particular interest is a handwritten pedigree of Nisreen from Crabbit Stud dating back to 1919 at Crabbit Stud. happy to be here. Let's talk about the mares. It's going to be a battle again of two world champions, Mosin al and Nafta al Naifat. The rivalry continues and there's a third as well. Yes, we have a third great beautiful mare that jumped in to compete for the crown and of course for a medal. I'm talking about Malikat Al Maluk, also from Al Jasimia Farm. Beautiful show with Giacomo Capacci. And talking about the stallions, Excalibur EA, as advertised with Glenn Shokin's competing for Al Shakab study, he was spectacular. And highest score of the show, Sultan Al Zobara. He was spectacular. He moved, stood up. Wow. All the credit in the world to Giacomo Capacci. That was a spectacular performance that he put on with him. It's going to be a coin flip going into the championships, I feel. I can't wait. So that's all for today. I'm Francesca Ragno. And I'm Jeffrey Winterstein. For the Qatar International Avian Horse Show. Ciao.